Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. In this video, we're going to learn how to offer tire pricing discounts in WooCommerce. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. To create tired pricing discounts, we're going to go to the WordPress dashboard. Under WooCommerce, you'll find what is controls. Now we can just go ahead and create the new rule by clicking on add new rule button. This will take you to the rule configuration page. Now let's start by entering a title. As discussed in this video, we're going to offer a tire pricing rule, meaning we're going to offer different quantities of products for a specific discount price. Let's say we're going to offer two to three products for $5 fixed discount. Similarly, four products for $10 fixed discount and six and above products for $15 fixed discount. All right. To do this, we're going to first enter the title. I'm going to say tire pricing rule. All right, where we're going to offer fixed discount on specific quantities. Okay, so this is the rule title. After we enter the rule title, let's go ahead and select the discount type by clicking on the drop down below. The discount type that is apt for this scenario is going to be a bulk discount. All right, nice. Then we get to decide the products that are eligible for this specific discount. I'm going to leave it to a specific category. All right, meaning a specific category only qualifies for this tire pricing rule. So I'm going to select category and enlist the specific category that I would like to offer this discount on. I'm going to select casual wear here. Nice. After I've selected the category here, it's time for us to actually create the tire pricing rule. To do this, we're going to define the minimum maximum quantity, and then the discount type and the discount value. So let me enter the minimum quantity to two maximum quantity to 3, select the discount type to be fixed discount as discussed, set the value to $5, meaning a $5 discount will apply when customers buy 2 to 3 products from the casual wear category. Let's define the next range by clicking on add range button. You will be able to see that the minimum quantity is defined, you can also change it according to your wish and according to the scenario is going to be 4 and then maximum quantity is going to be 5. Set the discount type to fixed discount and the discount value to be 10, meaning $10 fixed discount when customers purchase 4 to 5 products from the casual wear character. Now, to define the next range, we'll have to click on add range button. Here, the minimum quantity is 6, and you can notice that I'm going to leave this maximum quantity to be empty. Why? Because I want customers to buy 6 and above products from this specific category and get it for $15 fixed discount. So let me select the discount type to fixed discount and set the value to 15. Nice. Now that we have defined the tire pricing rule, all that we can do is just save and close this particular rule and get ready for testing. To test this rule, we are going to go to the storefront. Let me take you to the storefront. Here we are on the storefront and you will notice that you are only qualified for the discounts when you buy from specific category casual wear. So here we are on the category casual wear and you can notice that all products under this category are eligible for the tire pricing discount. Alright, so let's go ahead and add some products to the cart and see if we can get it for a discount price. Alright, well let's go with the product hoodie with logo and see if this tire pricing rule works. Now we are on the product detail page and you can see that this is a simple product and there is something like this called the discount table where the range and the particular discount is displayed isn't it this is very important for tire pricing rule that is bulk discounts all right so let me show you how to enable this from the settings and the good news is you can also customize this particular table this makes it evident for users to understand that they can get different quantities of the products for specific discounts all right nice 
Now, how do we enable this particular discount table and customize it? Is by going to the settings. Let me take you to the settings tab of our discount rules plugin. And as you navigate down, you'll be able to see something like this show discount table. So, if you set this to yes, you'll probably see a discount table that specifies the range and the discount value. All right. So, please enable it here if you want to show the discount table. And then the good news has said is an option to customize the discount table. Now you can see three columns are shown, isn't it? The title, range and the discount. Let me take you to the rule. Here we are. While creating the rule, you might have seen something like this. Title column for bulk table, isn't it? So you can enter a title here. But if you do not enter anything, then the specific rule title is considered to be the title. All right. And that's why you see something like this, isn't it? So let's customize this discount table. I'm going to remove this title column. Okay. And display only range and discount. To do that, I will have to go to the settings again and choose the option to customize discount table by clicking on this specific option. After which you'll see something like this. Here you can go ahead and customize it. The first one says table header. All right, so if you want to hide this header, like the title range in the discount headings, you can just choose not to show it. All right, and then title column name on table. So if you do not want this column, then you can just turn this off. Okay, you can also decide which columns are necessary for the users to notice. So I'm going to have discount and range to be displayed. If you do not want it, you can uncheck this box so that it will disappear from the discount table and then the last thing is pretty important discount column value on discount table right now you can see that on my discount table the specific discount value is shown isn't it but if we select discounted price the exact price after the discount is applied will be shown i'm going to set it to discount value so it is easy for the users to understand now let's save the changes by clicking on the save button and you will notice that the settings are saved successfully. All right. Nice. Now, if I take you back to the product detail page and refresh it, you'll be able to see that the title column disappears. Here we go. Nice, isn't it? So this is an easy way to customize the discount table according to your needs. Now let's start adding quantities to the card and see if the discount is applied. Okay. I'm going to add two of this particular product to the cart and you can notice that i can get this product for a discount price 40 dollars meaning a five dollar discount is applied isn't it similarly if i try to buy four of them you can see that i can get it for a ten dollar discount which is 35 okay and if i buy six of the products i'll get it for 30 dollars meaning a 15 fixed dollar discount is applied on this product okay let's go ahead and add six of this product to the cart I'll take you to the card page now you can notice i have received the six quantities of this specific product for a 15 dollar fixed discount nice isn't it so this is how we go about creating tire pricing rule and it's a great way for us to give away quantities of products for different discounts thank you so much for watching